Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. Welcome to Times Online. Today we are thousands of miles away from Colombo. We are in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And with us we have Mr. Sanu Jaherat, Chief Operating Officer, Brandix Apparel, Bangladesh. Welcome. Thank you, Dr. Thank you for having me and pleasure of being Mr. Hera, how come Brandix came to Bangladesh? It's been over a decade. In 2010, we landed in Bangladesh uh, as a uh, it's a company strategy that because uh, we need, wanted to explore more market segments. Predominantly Sri Lanka, our market is uh, focused on fast and high-end products, right? highly technical products, going to fashion. So by the time we wanted to focus on more volume-driven business, where we identified Bangladesh is the right place to go for this volume based, the low cost product. So that's the basic idea for us to come to Bangladesh, a place called Komila. It's an economic uh, processing zone located by the Dhaka Chittagong Highway, right in between Dhaka and Chittagong. So we are about 110 kilometers away from uh, airport and another 130 kilometers away from the Chittagong seaport. Mr. Herati, what is the capacity of the factory? In fact, we have two factories. The first factory we started off in 2010, it was an acquisition. We are predominantly into woven pant manufacturing. There we have about 2,700 employees. We are catering for worldwide uh, customers. And we started off our second factory in 2021. Actually, it was scheduled to start a little earlier with COVID and all, you know, the plans got slightly pushed back. We have, uh, you know, ramped up about 50% of the factory right now with the current challenges in the market. We couldn't uh, fill it uh, completely. But uh, both factories together, we have about 5,500 employees with us right now. With the challenging situation in the whole world, including uh, Sri Lanka and also Bangladesh, I'm sure you must be facing difficulties in running the business. Would you like to share with us how to overcome these situations? So we've been a global manufacturing company. We have the benefit of operating in uh, multiple uh, destinations. We are headquartered in Sri Lanka. So then we have operations largely in India and uh, Bangladesh and, uh, and Haiti, right? So it's depend on the customer strategy, right? And the the trade agreements we have between the countries, so we decide our manufacturing strategies. There are distinguished benefits and you know drawbacks in the country. The most benefit of being in Bangladesh is the Bangladesh economy is completely depending on this apparel sector. So we check out for their 80% of their exports. Uh, exports on apparel is itself accounts for about 45 billion dollars. So that's the main reason and with that the government is focusing heavily on developing the apparel sector. So that is one of the benefits uh, we have realized in Bangladesh. The other side, the, with the economic and in the, the political stability, we see a consistency in the policy, especially the monetary policies and the economic policies, which help us to run the business in Bangladesh. The other side, the cost of manufacturing is slightly relatively low in Bangladesh and we have utility. There are some benefits from the utility side because uh, mostly the manufacturing is run by gas. Right? So gas is readily available in Bangladesh. But in future, there will be certain challenges. The benefits anyway become challenges as you move on. So similarly, we also have to face some challenges, but we need to see how we are going to you know, navigate through these challenges. Would you be expanding further? In the expansion fund, we have not yet immediate plans to expand it because we have invested on our second plan, right? So we have about another 50% to increase the capacity. When the market uh, gets back to the normal situation, we probably should be able to have that uh, benefit. To mitigate the challenges, now we as a group, we have heavily invested on the technology, the machinery, innovation, latest technologies to bring that the advantages of being into the technological uh, development. So with that, we are trying to reduce the cost of manufacturing. That's the way out for this current competition, wherever you operate. So you have to be very competitive in terms of your 
manufacturing cost. Sri Lanka is mainly into fashion industry, so high-end, high-tech products we do it in Sri Lanka with short lead time. But Bangladesh as a country, there is one disadvantage, we are not uh, competitive enough in terms of the lead time. So therefore, we, our focus is to place more and more volume-driven business into Bangladesh with slightly higher lead. Would you be uh, looking at expansions into other regional countries? From you can maybe navigate with your free trade agreements in Bangladesh to other South countries. Is there a plan like that? So we have clearly a larger uh, production facility in India. So then Bangladesh other than uh, Haiti, right? So I think if you look at SAAP, so Bangladesh and India, the production facilities will be able to, uh, you know, help us to cater this market other than the main uh, footprint in Sri Lanka. So the Sri Lanka, India and Bangladesh, so these will work as the uh, main manufacturing facilities in the region, so which cater to various customers across the globe. And we see the uh, India market also uh, booming up very fast. Another uh, benefit of being in Bangladesh is even uh, supply to uh, India because India will be a bigger market in uh, another two to three years' time, right? Please explain about the uh, apparel industry in uh, Bangladesh. Apparel industry is the backbone of Bangladesh economy, right? so which accounts for 80% of their exports income. Last year, exports was around 45 billion dollars. Close to 4 million employees, the workers are engaged with all these apparel-related industries. Guys, sir very focused and structured uh, strategical approach is there from the government side to boom the industry in uh, Bangladesh. How do you manage your staff? Actually when we came here, the technical staff availability is slightly less. So we are located in Kominda, which is a bit of uh, far from both uh, the commercial cities. So and earlier we were struggling to find out the people with right capabilities, right technical knowledge. We had to hire people from Dhaka and Chittagong. So then we used their knowledge and we used to train the people within the vicinity. Right? We had engaged with a lot of universities in the Komida vicinity. We hired a lot of management trainees. We put them through the training period and we trained them. So now we have a very well trained set of uh, employees with us. Those who are coming very, very close by the, uh, the factories. How easy or how difficult is it to operate in Bangladesh? The, the current economic uh, situation, so we see uh, inflation across the country, right? So earlier it was somewhere around 5 to 6 percent, but it has now gradually gone up to uh, 10 percent, right? So that we have identified as a major in Bangladesh because obviously the inflation driven salary increases so we expected the general salary levels to go up. Currently utility is a strength for you but in future it will be another challenge for you because currently it's completely depend on the uh, fossil fuel right so it is slowly decaying right so you need to definitely go into other renewable energy sources. What are your future plans? Will it be business as usual or how will you be going forward? It's twofold. Basically, our future expansions definitely has to be backed by our customer strategy. We have always partnership model with the customers rather than being uh, transactional. We always go along with brands. Right? So if, if the brands require us to more and more expand our footprint in Bangladesh with the strategy and if that strategy goes along with ours, so probably we will go for expansion. Right at the moment we don't have any plans to expand the business further because we have invested considerable amount in Kominda. We are very happy to see the tenacious nature of Sri Lankan businesses. Thank you, it's my pleasure to be here.